Good afternoon. It's lovely to be here again um, and to see so many familiar faces. I feel like this is a very comfortable place for me, so um, thank you for humoring me uh, for yet one more year. Um, I feel like I'm uh, uniquely positioned to talk about investment in Greenland because over the last five years I've been in a number of different um, seats with respect to financing. The first time I came to speak with this group, um, I was part of a private equity fund called Sentient, Asset Management based in Australia, and we had uh, taken a large position in North American Nickel, uh, which I'm sure you heard about earlier today. So from that perspective, uh, you know, I could certainly speak to the investment criteria required to make um, such an investment. Um, and then I have been also supporting since that time North American Nicole um, as part of their management team to, to, to take it forward. So um, it's always uh, enlightening to be on the other side of the investment uh, table. And finally, and what I'm going to speak about today, is my role at Paragon Capital, which is an investment dealer. So this is um, the, I guess, facilitator of the transactions that we're talking about with respect to um, investment in mining. So, um, what I'm going to start off by doing is giving you a little overview of Paradigm uh, Capital, which, as I said, is an investment dealer. Um, Paradigm is based here in Toronto. There's about 60 employees across Canada, um, and I'm one of the, the two based in Montreal, but I'm in Toronto fairly often. Uh, this group looks at, in the natural resources sector, uh, or looks to support, rather, um, small to mid-sized companies, uh, so we don't often do work with the barracks and the newmonts of the world who've been in the news very recently, but we do spend a lot of time working with the types of companies that are directly investing in, um, in Greenland today. Uh, the range of services, and I'll give a few examples in a minute, that Paradigm provides um, include research, which is really important for getting the story of the mining company out there in front of uh, investors. Uh, we have a sales and trading desk, um, which is important for selling the equities. And we have an investment banking group, which is what I'm part of for Paradigm Capital, uh, and that's also um, supporting the M&A advisory for, uh, for mining companies. And just between all of these pieces of the business, uh, Paradigm Capital sees hundreds and hundreds of junior mining companies uh, in all jurisdictions, in all commodities. So that gives us the ability to really choose jurisdictions that we want to work in and companies and management teams that we want to be associated with. So um, I wasn't the actual builder of this presentation, so it's really heavily loaded with how amazing Paradigm Capital is. <laughs> so I might skip over a lot of these details to get to the, um, the, the, the key messages that I want to leave you with today. Um, I think the presentation just before mine was an excellent um, setting or context setting for what's happening in the industry. So keep bear that in mind as we talk about what's happening in the industry and then the types of financing that, that are going on right now. Um, this page, I just wanted to point out that we do have a very um, deep research team. Uh, two of our senior um, analysts have been in the business for decades and a number of them have been to Greenland to look at the geology and to assess the mining projects there um, in the very recent past. So. And this is an interesting picture, keep this in mind again, as when I say a few closing um, comments regarding the state of the markets. Uh, this here is a bar chart of the number of equity financings that have happened in um, public capital markets between 2016 and 2018. Um, initially, this was done really to show um, where Paradigm sits with respect to how many financings they've been involved in, so certainly first quart quartile for the size of the market cap I was talking about. But I think, you know, if we did this trend over the, over the last few years, we would see a declining number of financings that have actually happened in the last little while. And I wanted to just point out that we've got uh, North American Nickel on this page as well. Um, Again, when we talk about how does an investment dealer support a mining company, uh, the example I'm going to give right now is not Greenland specific, but I think it's an interesting case because it talks about the full life cycle of what happens um, with a mining company. I'll just talk a little bit about Gold Wheaton for uh, one minute. Um, Paradigm Capital was the first to cover um, Gold Wheaton from a research perspective, so writing research reports and putting it out into the, to the market. 
um, when we started uh, doing research, their market cap was 613 million. I think that number is very small <laughs> on one page. Um, and then subsequently uh, advised um, the company Paradigm did on their IPO, so when they became public, um, participated in all subsequent financing, and then finally advised them on their sale to Franco Nevada. So that's just an example of how uh, an investment dealer can add value all the length of the life cycle of a mining project. So um, Paradigm has a number of experiences uh, in that direction. This is a, a map showing some of the deals that we've done in the past. Um, Greenland isn't on there, but it should be in terms of um, the work that we've done with North American Economia. Okay, so let's talk about something a little bit more specific. So given the crowd, I don't need to tell you about the context of mining in Greenland, but I can talk a little bit about my own experience in working with both the government and the service providers in the country and what that means then for um, subsequent investment. So um, the numbers that we pulled from the, um, from the databases show that there has been over $200 million invested or raised in the capital market since 2017 in Greenland. That is an enormous number. Um, that is uh, across roughly 10 projects. And uh, I guess the key ones I could mention are North American Nickel, um, Hudson, Blue Jay more recently, uh, and um, AEX, which used to be called Alopax. So um, from Paradigm's perspective, after looking at other jurisdictions and actually working in country, um, this is clearly an important number and it's something to be proud of. Um, I should also mention that the most recent North American Nickel um, investment has come from a company called CATL, uh, which is based in China. So, um, and you guys are no strangers to Chinese investment. Given that we are in Canada, I should say a few words about the similarities between uh, Arctic Canada and Greenland. I think that in terms of investment strategy, um, Investors are very aware of the challenges that exist both in Arctic Canada and in Greenland um, with respect to um, isolation, uh, lack of infrastructure, lack of resources, uh, <coughs> resources even. But they're also very aware of the upside to investing in, in, uh, in Arctic regions, and that has to do with you know improved technology for discovery, um, as well as uh, the fact that a lot of this area is, is uh, underexplored and therefore offers, uh, offers amazing opportunities. Um, I did want to give one more example of a, uh, an experience that Paradigm had or is having right now with a company in Arctic Canada, again to show our support of the region and, and then we could draw parallels from that. Um, if any of you have heard of Sabina, um, a junior mining company located in uh, Nunavut, Canada. Uh, Paradigm Capital has been involved over the last 10 years in nine financings for Sabina, uh, which totaled about $250 million. So um, we are well aware that there can be success in Arctic environments. Um, we just have to talk to the, to the right investors. <coughs> I could spend an hour on this page, as you probably know. But I won't because I think you've heard about North American Nickel earlier today. I have one more profile um, picture on Nalanuk that I'll talk about briefly. But again, this is um, this is a company that Paradigm has supported uh, for the last number of years. Um, basically, uh, you know, when when we do the criteria for how and who we support, um, this is a credible team that's driven by you know technical excellence and has just really been systematic about looking at the entire land package that it has and identifying the best opportunities for investors. Um, sometimes it's a, a long process. Um, we've already talked about the limitations of moving around and in this case in particular, the short season to try to get as much done as possible. Um, but all that being said, uh, and I'm sure it was said earlier today, uh, currently in financing and looking to figure out what's happening this summer for a program. And I should point out, that over $30 million has been raised um, by this project since 2017, and a good part of that has gone into the ground, um, into the services. Uh, briefly, I wanted to mention AEX. I don't know if Elder's in the room or he was earlier today, uh, but Paradigm has also worked closely with AEX um, in terms of supporting and raising. It's 
the $10 million race since 2017. Again, gone mostly into the gold project that was um, a historical mine here. Uh, so I think this is another project that has international appeal and will continue to move forward in Paradigm's eyes. So that's all I have, sorry for slides, but I did want to finish with a few comments on the market. Um, this conference is usually, for me and other bankers, a pulse or uh, sense check on what the market is doing. Um, love to hear your feedback on what you've seen today, uh, but it's still unknown how our year is going to end up. Uh, last year started off reasonably well and then kind of died a really slow death <laughs> in terms of capital financing. So capital is very scarce for junior miners. I think some of the key success factors for mining companies to be able to continue to move forward are more strategic partnerships than they are reliance on capital markets. Um, so that's just uh, something that I wanted to, to, to leave you with. Um, it, it has been very, very difficult to raise money. And I'm not just saying for Greenland, I'm saying for you know any project anywhere in the world. So, um, so just keep that in mind. And hopefully the year will be more positive than last year. That's it for me. Thank you.